Hello, slabbers. We have some slabs to look at, so I don't think there's ever been a more appropriate time for for the slabber nation to be uh, titled as, as they are. So this is my first CGC submission um, reaction, and... Uh, I don't know what's in here uh, exactly, so uh, so the great guys at the uh, LCS uh, submitted this, um, and I asked them to uh, to not share with me the the results because I wanted to kind of get the live reaction. Uh, there are a couple um, that I got the advanced view, so I'll just go through those quickly because I, I have already seen these. So here's a Gen 13. The Gen 13 number one had a bunch of variant uh, variant covers. Um, this came back a 9.4, which I think is a little bit on the harsh side, but uh, it's it's the McFarlane um, homage. So there's that one. And then um, there's two more here that, again, I know, and then we'll get into this price. So this is the Gen 13 uh, Heavy Metal homage and uh this one got a nine six you know it'd be nice if uh let's see let's take it back a little bit maybe that'll help yeah so that's a nine six and then this was really exciting this is why uh why they showed me kind of these first re these first um returns because i got the the janet jackson homage uh in a nine eight and uh, so it's a Rolling Stone. Um, for those who, who may recall, there's a Janet Jackson cover that's similar to this. Um, J. Scott Campbell. You know, Gen 13 was a J. Scott Campbell thing. I think all of the books in here are, are, are J. Scott Campbell. Um, it's been a long time since they were submitted. So I don't know. I can't recall exactly. But I think they're all J. Scott Campbell. Um, these two were not covers by him, but they were... Uh, you know, he did the interior art on those, I believe. So anyways, this is exciting. This is a big money book and um, couldn't be happier. Like uh, uh, out of everything that came back, um, and again, I don't remember everything in here, so we'll see. But I think this was the probably the biggest, had the biggest ceiling and we got it. We got the 9-8. So uh, slabbers around the world uh, rejoice in that. And now... Let's get some uh, let's get some surprises. Let's see what we have. So we'll start this off, and here's the first one. It's uh, star number one. I guess it says it there. So all right. So we're starting off with a nine eight. Um, again, just J. Scott Campbell. A lot of these. So uh, so my LCS has artist box uh, artist boxes, I suppose. So I went through there, looked at various covers, um, looked for, for some ones in good condition, and uh, that's, I think, the majority of what was submitted here. So anyways, star number one, uh, J. Scott Campbell, 9.8. That's awesome. Nowhere to go but up or down. Uh, this is less awesome. So uh, Red Sonia, number four. Four, volume four, number one, J. Scott Campbell, 9.6. Uh, I'm going to have to look at these more closely because I don't think it's fun for you guys to spend five minutes as I inspect each one of these. But um, that's that's kind of disappointing. Um, that's too bad. But it's all right. 9.6 isn't, isn't the worst, I suppose. All right. So now I'm just... Uh, I guess I'm going to just be grabbing these kind of randomly. Let's get the first one here. And it is... We'll try We'll try this. Oh, so this one I actually... Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This one I actually know uh, what the result was ahead of time. Because um, I got a sneak peek on this one too. Uh, very cool. Escape from Wonderland from Zenoscope. J. Scott Campbell. Love the cover. It is not a wraparound, but pretty awesome cover, and it did get a 9.8. So another one out of these that, um, you know, if, if we're picking and choosing kind of the ones that then end up getting the 9.8s, like that's a, that's a very cool one 
um, to get that great. And you know these these bags kind of screw up the image on the camera, um, but I suppose we don't want to spend 20 minutes while I unpack each one. All right, next one. I'm trying to see if I can do this where I can cover the grade, see what we have. Oh, this is not a J. Scott Campbell. So this is uh, what's for this place from here. And this was a big, uh, big cover. This was a one in a hundred. Uh, I think this was the one in a hundred variant, right? So it's a Jenny Frizen uh, cover. And um, this would have been probably the most expensive book that I, you know, from a raw perspective that I I bought in this. So let's see how we did. Uh, that's disappointing too. That's disappointing because I thought this one looked super sharp. And I'll look at it more. Um, but yeah, that's that's a disappointing result. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's try to get get some some good news here coming coming around. What do we have? Um, hmm. X Men number one, and we have certificate of authenticity. Some stuff in there. So what do we? I'm gonna have to see what's going on here. It says do not encapsulate. Please keep with invoice. So we'll figure that out. So what do we have? 9.6. All right. So what what do we have here? Which cover was this? Oh, okay. I know what this is. Um, so this would have been awesome as a 90, right? Because um, I really, really love this cover. But, you know... I don't know. I I really wanted this, and um, you know they came. Uh, I think these came bagged, so you, you didn't really you really couldn't tell the condition. So it was a little bit of a crapshoot when it went in. Um, these are this is the rogue negative. I think they were limited to like three thousand copies, um, but but they go for uh, they go for pretty big money. Um, you know, I, I mean, at a 9.6, it's, you know, buying this raw and sending it in, I'm still ahead, you know, which is fine. Um, from a personal standpoint, just as, as a, you know, collecting these, it would have been really, really cool if it was a 9.8. But, um, you know, but it is what it is. And uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not terribly broken up on it, but, you know, a 9.8 would, would have just been nice from the personal collection standpoint. All right, the next one. Ha! So this is funny. Um, I just sent an offer. I forgot this was in the order. I just sent an offer for this, and uh, on eBay, and it was uh, it was not accepted. So that was probably good, or else I would have had two copies. Let's see how we did on this one. A nine six. So this is a this is a one in a hundred uh, variant, and um, you know not. Um, would have been would have been nice. It's not terribly uh, valuable. Um, would have been nice as a nine eight. Um, beautiful beautiful Campbell artwork though, right? Like you know, you just see that that Campbell you know signature Campbell face in there, um, and yeah, I like it because it's this sounds probably stupid, but it's a larger you know image because normally it's it's not as blown up as that. So all right. So CGC's, uh, you know, having a rough, I guess someone was having a rough day, maybe. Um, all right, here we go. This is a big one. Um, so I I already have this as a um, as a gold label 9.8, but I just really, really love the uh, the cover, the, um, the concept. This is the um, CBLDF, uh, Presents Liberty Comics, with the anti-censorship uh, Danger Girl cover. J. Scott Campbell um, would be awesome if it was a 9.8 to go with the, the gold label and have, have them both. And wow, 9.4. 9.4. Huh. 
that's that's a little bit of a head scratcher. Um, I'm gonna have to look at this a lot more carefully, but I, I thought this looked really sharp. Um, all right, still an awesome book. Um, let's see what we got next. We have the Amazing Spider-Man 800 Campbell from his website. Uh, this is the version uh, edition with Black Cat, and it's a 9.6. Cool cover. CGC is not um, not our friend today with the grades, but you got to think hopefully it evens out a little bit. Uh, next is, and I already know this one because it was shared with me. I know this is also, uh, it's also number 800 and a little bit on the lower side, so we got a 9.4 on that one. So... All right. Yep. You're off camera getting all these, these books now. Kind of take, let's push those over aside a little bit. And next. There's 29 of these, by the way. So that's why it's taking a little long. Huh. So I guess we submitted two of these, unless they're variants. I'll have to look because I just showed you that other one. Let's see how this one did. 9 8. So, uh,. So I guess I sent in two of these and got two nine eights. So they're they're being kind on the Escape from Wonderlands, which again is one you know one of the nicer books in this. Um, that's interesting. Uh, next we have the uh, Campbell cover from Dark Knight Master Race Campbell variant cover. And nine eight. All right, we're starting to we're starting to trend in the right direction here with uh with some of these puppies, right? So that's good news. Um, did I tell you there's twenty nine of these? So we got a we, right a little bit over halfway through. All right, so this um. This I got because I was going for the, the series, and I have to check. I might already have this one. I might have bought this separately, not realizing I had it. But I'll double check. This is the uh, the A variant on X-Men Gold number one and 9-8. All right. We got a, we're starting a, a new streak here on the 9-8s, which is exciting. All right, yeah. So this one, this is why I, I, I got the other one is... Um, to go for the set. I bought this uh, at, a, at a show, and I think we thought that there was a likelihood that this probably wasn't gonna grade a 9.8, but I figured, uh, you know, to to send it in anyways, because I, I was going for the set and trying to get them all. So this one, I'm expecting below a 9.8, and whoa, it's a 9.8. So that's a great result, um, and a little bit surprising. But we'll take that one. They're coming in batches. You know, we, we couldn't buy a 9-8 for the first 10, and now and now they're everywhere. Uh, this Wonder Girl, number one, with uh, it's the R Flora, right? Um, this was a ratio, I think it was a 1 in 25 variant. And 9-8. All right. All right. How about, how, you know, it's it's funny. They're all coming. I wonder if if the guys organized this in a way that um that did that. Okay, so this one, I want to say this one we thought probably wasn't going to get a 9.8 either. This is the Ultimate Thor number one and 9.6. All right, so I don't think that was a surprise. I think we, we thought the likelihood was that that would come in under a 9.8. So the streak is broken, um, but not unsurprisingly. All right, moving on. So I just bought this uh, online. This, this, you know, I should have taken notes of what what I'd sent in. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's see how we did on this one. Nine eight. All right, that's cool. Actually, I think the other one I got was. Um, I have to double check. It might have been CBCS. So, uh, so now I got a pair of those. I'm, I'm okay with that. It's a cool, uh, cool cover. It's sketch edition on that. 
And we're streaking again with the 9-8s, so that's good. Next, the Shang-Chi. Uh, this was the 1 in 50, I think, variant. Shang-Chi number 1, Campbell. 9-8. All right, that's a good one, too. Good, good, good. All right, let's keep going. I'm trying to move this along. I'm trying to go quickly here. Danger Girl uh, Dynamic Forces Foil Edition. This is the gold foil version of Danger Girl. You can see the shine there on that foil. And 9-8. How about that? We'll take that. We'll take that. We're getting towards the end here, guys. I'm trying to move fast. All right, this is a cool one. This is the uh, Retailer Incentive Bermuda. So bookworm, comic bookworm, if you're watching, if you've stuck around this long, we've talked about the Bermuda, and I know that was one of your one and dones, right? So this is the, uh, uh, I think the Virgin Incentive, I think this is a one in 50. Um, and I think this has turned into a pretty big book. And I think I saw a hint of the grade, which was disappointing, but let's see if, yeah. So it came out a 9.4. Um, again, kind of disappointing and not sure why, because I, I, I want to say this, we felt this was going to be a strong submission. Um, but still a very cool cover, I think, uh, for, uh, for Campbell. So we'll take it. We'll take it. I'm putting put that on this side. All right. Next we have, all right. So this one. This one we figured 50-50 uh, chance on whether it got the green label or uh, or a gold label. Um, the deal with this, this is called the Gen 13, number 13, um, Image Wizard Publication, uh, Wizard Authentic Edition. So the reason why uh, we thought this might get a gold label or, or a blue label or, or something of that nature is the only, I believe the only way this came out was with Campbell's autograph, right? So you can see it there. I'm going to try to handle this a little bit more. Ooh, and I know. So we got hammered on this one too. But, um, you know, it's Wizard Authentic Hologram Jim Lee Tribute. It says Jim Lee Tribute Edition in the corner. Um, not sure why then I know. Uh, again, I'll look at that more closely, but uh, the green label, I'm, uh, you know, you can't get this special edition without the, the signature. So I'm not sure exactly why it's a green label other than CGC, just being CGC, right? So disappointing in the 9.0, um, but it's a cool limited edition Gen 13 book. All right, next uh vampirella uh this is the artboard i think this is a one in 25 variant and that nah, nine six nine six so we're, we're we're sliding again we had that nice kind of middle that middle ground where things were going well um back to bermuda this is the uh the trade edition right so this is the normal non-virgin uh and 9.8. So we did get the 9.8 on the standard. Uh, I suppose it'd be nice if, if those were reversed with the 9.8 on the ratio, but still a cool one to get a 9.8 in. And, and again, I think that that has really taken off a lot. Um, we're down to the last, I think the last three or four here. Uh, Avengers 24 now, the snowball fight. And whoa! Whoa, what are they doing? 8.5? Is there is there a shit stain on this? Like, how do you get an 8.5? What are they doing? Like, we looked at we looked at this carefully before submitting. There's not there's not a single tick. There's not a single tick on the spine. Like Ah, uh, what are you doing, CGC? 
You know what it looks like? It looks like there's a... Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. I think that's inside the case. Yeah, it's, there's marks inside the case. I don't see anything wrong with this. Tell you what, good luck finding a nicer, uh, good luck finding a nicer 8.5 on this planet. <laughs> that's a pristine, that's a pristine book. There isn't a single, you know, uh, pause the video, I guess, and, and y y you know, you tell me, you look at that spine. I know it's more than the spine, but the, I don't think I've ever seen a, a, a tickless spine with an 8.5, you know, the corners are sharp. The edges are sharp. Wow. Somebody, somebody came into work finding out their wife cheated on them or something. Cause that's, someone had a bad day. Wow. Wow. That is a shocker. Absolute shocker. 8.5. All right. Next. All right. I, I love this book. This has been one of my, uh, I love this cover. This is the Grim Fairy Tales number 41, kind of one of his more famous, I don't know about famous, but a well-known cover of Campbell's. And from a personal collection standpoint, it would be really nice. It would be really nice if they could come through and do me right on this after that 8.5 garbage. Let's see. And 9.6. All right. It's still a cool book, and um, it's better than a freaking 8.5, like that last one. Uh, all right, Gwenpool Holiday Special, and uh, what do we got? 9.2. Really? Really? 9.2. All right, well, we'll put you by your friend, Mr. 8.5. And you guys can hang out over there. We have two left. Two left. Red Sonia. Another sketch cover. I think uh, one in 25 variant. And 9.0. Wow. You know, it would have been nice if... Uh, it would have been nice if CGC maybe would have taken me uh, out to dinner. Uh, before uh, fucking me in the ass on these. But, 9.0. Okay, you go over there and... Oh, that was the last one. So, so we ended on... We ended on kind of a rough uh, a rough, rough stretch there, right? With their... Uh, let's just do our rainbow here. Our rainbow of... Uh, you know, the 9.0, the 9.2, and the 8.5. Not how you want to end... An unboxing, I suppose. But you know what? That's the game. That's that's the slabber, uh, the slabber approach on things. And um, you know, and it was fun. It was fun. And we got a couple. I think we got a couple nice returns on this too. A couple nice surprises. So that's it. This video's gone on much too long. If anyone's still out there uh, listening to this, uh, thanks for sticking through this. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care, Slabber Nation. Have a good night.